guys and welcome back to another episode of Techit Classic Tutorials and today I'm doing, as you know in the title, Auto Mark II Auto Crafters. Now the reason I'm doing this is because they don't work with build craft pipes and that can be annoying, but they do work with other types of pipes and I'll show you exactly what you need. I won't be going through the crafting recipes because in Techit Classic you can just look up what you need to make. Hold on, let me just go to recipe. P mode. You look up whatever you need to know, make. One of these items will be a uh, transposer. So you just look it up, click on it in recipe mode, and it tells you how to make it. You click on the piston, tells you how to make it. Click on you know whatever else you need to click on. But yeah, so that's why I'm not going through the crafting recipes. But I'll tell you what you'll need. And don't mind all of that because that was just from other tutorials and that video never got uploaded. You will need two timers, two chests, one filter, one transposer, one automatic crafting table, mark two, something to make into whatever you're making, so just use whatever for now if you're testing it, and if this is for like a factory or something in Tech It, you may tr use, use the materials you need to make it. Now this is for a single item being made with just, um with just one material needed so basically I'm making I'm gonna be making a furnace and all a furnace needs is the base root cobblestone nothing else now I'll just go ahead and take the this and I'll just tell, go ahead and take all the uh, materials out uh, yeah again I'm using 32 red alloy wire and 32 pneuma pneumatic tubes now I'm probably not I'm not gonna use all of these I'm just saying usually you're gonna need zero to th from one or like maybe three to thirty-two. When you many more, you may not need this, but I'm just doing this to be safe. I'm gonna demonstrate right now how you're gonna use them. So first, plunk down the chest and put in what you wanna make. It don't mind the stone, but what you wanna make into the furnace, so the cobblestone in that chest. Next, grab your transposer. Make sure it's your transposer. Plunk it right there, and make sure you may need a screwdriver. But you can also be lazy like me. Make sure this part that I'm looking at is facing the chest. You want to get behind it, and make sure it will go. The part you want to touch the to, uh, you want to put the chest next to will face you when you place it. So you have to like you can just be lazy like that. Next thing is next. Now you don't even need the tubes. I think you can just do that, and it goes into it. But I'm gonna use some tubes just to be okay. So I'm gonna use one tube. And go into there. Now, next, this does. So I'm just gonna go out, go ahead and grab some stone because I might need it. Not you, not you may not need it, but I'm just gonna use it to. Next, you have to, the filter. The same thing as transposer. The filter's big circle will face you, and you want it to face the mark two. Now, if you put it on the side, it won't work. The sides are like the inputs. And the bottom and top, it may just be the top or the output. So make sure the filter is on the top and maybe the bottom. I'm just going to go ahead and tell you to go to the top. Now, again, you could just put a chest on here, but I will use some tubes. So let me just do this, do this, this, and then plonk another chest right here. And this is where the furnaces will be. Now, in here, before, actually, before you put all your thing in here, you want to take just one piece of this because it doesn't use up any materials and like sketch out like it's like not even using your block you want to sketch out what the recipe is in there then you put that cobblestone back in next I, I just do this put a fern put that here actually not yet I want to break that wire and put that there I know I have more but you don't need that like I when you in creative mode you don't lose anything you can also pick it up and this will be where the other time will go. Now you want the more of the item. So you basically you want um, this going off the same amount of time as eight of the cobblestone goes in. So basically you can do this and it'll make it really neat. It'll make it even out. You don't have to do that. You should want to make this one that's pumping out the ingredients faster than the one that's pumping out the thing. So I want to make it go in eighth. Uh, and uh, I, I might just go one second out of eight. So, you know, one. Just make that one second out of a. Out of. Okay, so that's one second, and this will be at eight. 
usually you could make it faster you just have to worry it oh these pipes won't overflow but you want to make sure nothing all the ingredients don't get mashed up so if you're making a factory you want to kind of let me just you want to kind of do this just to um I don't know just to hmm oh no just you know make sure everything gets in there and that will make a furnace oh wait I'm a stoop but you don't have to do that you can also just go oh god that's a bit longer than I expected you make it half that will be better anyway I'm just gonna go ahead and make it two seconds half of it I can just do that Ooh, this is, oh wait, <laughs> I keep messing up, there we go, two, so now the first will be made, and once all the cobblestone it needs, or all the ingredients from there, it'll make one of these, and pump it to this chest, so now, you're basically auto make turning this cobblestone automatically into furnaces, now I'm going to show you a neater design for this, you can just honestly just do this. You might want to put down the transposer first to make it easier than the chest. And then you can just go that there. You're going to need the pipes. And then just go right down here. Place down. Oh, that's not a crafting table. My bad. Place down the filter. And then just place down the chest. That's simple. I don't know why it's dark, but no matter, it still works. And you do the exact same thing, so let me grab. Okay, let me just shift grab. Grab a bit of cobblestone, leave one here. You know, and then go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then just use that to cover that hole. Put this cobblestone back in here. And then I know they're not facing the right way, but it's fine. Then bam, bam, and then now since they're not spaced apart, you may want to go like you can also put it on the other side. But now I want to put the timer on. I can just put that there, and I'm gonna make it just as fast as the other one. So there we go. Now it should be like basically automating. Yep, still doing it, and that's just a neater design. Now I'm also going to go into detail of how you would keep on putting the cobblestone in there. What you can do is you can just plonk down a condenser. Now that you know how to use those condenser. So condenser. Let me just make sure I'm on sheet. You can do this. You can take an energy condenser. You can take a transposer, get one piece of cobblestone, there's no more cobblestone, let me just do this, you can condense cobblestone and then like I taught you last time, mark one because it's cobblestone, you don't need that much, I'm just going to go ahead and grab a mark two, and you want to make sure this the materials are being made fat, which they definitely are, are being put in and made faster than this can pump out furnaces. Nothing will happen, it'll just make it a lot more successful. Then, I don't even think you need this wire. I think you can honestly just do... Yep, you can. So, then you can just go... And you know, do that. Bam. So I'll just do that real quick. So I'm going to show you like the neatest design you can do with one of these things. You can also, you may be able to do it better, but this is just a really neat design. And then, you know, I'll get out my, uh, oh, it's condenser, condenser. And then I'll get, take away these because you don't even need these. You can make those if you want to make a design that I first made. But cobblestone. It this is this can be a lot neater in some cases. So now I just want to go transposer chest. Honestly, you could probably you don't even need this middle buffer. 
you could probably just do this. And then, so you could do that, or you could have a chest going into it. But this is a pretty neat design, and because I don't need this, I can just go. And that'll pump out a lot. And now all the furnaces in the world. So now it's being easy. That that's pretty good. Now I'll show you what you can do as well. You can just go plunk that down. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and make these all do that. You see how fast this goes? Now if I were to Yeah, it only goes down to there. But that's making furnaces. And what you can also do is you can have a different setup. So now, let's say you're making something that involves cobblestone and something else. You do this exact thing I did here, or a different way. Just, you know, pump it, be able to pump right in to this. Ha, ha, I got the dirty, but you know, put, just put the, on the other side slot. And that is how to use Mark II crafting tables. I hope you enjoyed. Um, yeah, and I also taught you how to, you know, just make it really neat. Be able to automate, auto make them. Um, you just—it's really easy, and how they only work. They don't work with Buildcraft, so don't try and use them with Buildcraft. I'll, anyway, guys, that's been that's been the end of today's episode. I'll see you all next time. Um, last episode of Techie Class Tutorials, we started just automating all this. I'm gonna see how much it's made. That is a lot of gold. You guys see how much gold that was? That's gold. Don't just auto make gold. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Watch this. Watch this. I'm. Uh, what, what, what's this? Well, anyway, guys, that's the end of today's episode. And I'll see you next time. Don't forget to leave a like if you want to see more. Sub uh, I thought the energy was saved up in here. Never mind. I'll see you all next time. Don't forget to leave a like if you want to see more. Subscribe if you like my channel. And watch your upcoming and older videos. I'll see you all next time.